In less than two weeks, hundreds of bicyclists pedal through the streets of Kansas City to raise money for four organizations helping those living with HIV and AIDS. Now, Mitch Weber met a woman who was diagnosed 12 years ago. This year, her daughter might be one of the cyclists who pedaled to raise money and awareness. The road to recovery never ends. It's the road Cecilia Singletary never thought she would be on after her diagnosis 12 years ago from sharing drug needles. And to go from that to undetectable, and I've been undetectable for about seven years since I've been here. Cecilia is one of the 5,700 people living in the metro with HIV, according to the AIDS Service Foundation. This is no longer a dying disease. We can live with this. A drastic difference since the AIDS epidemic first began in the early 80s. With every medical advancement that benefits those like Cecilia, it also gives those who aren't a false sense of security. Grandma, ain't nothing wrong with you. You know, that's only because of medicine. Do you want to take medicine the rest of your life? It's a big problem in the African-American community. And Teresa Van Akron is one of the co-chairs of this year's Kansas City AIDS Bicycle Cruise. The ride raises money and awareness. People have a lot of misinformation about how you get it, how it's transmitted, and people still really kind of identify it as a gay disease, and it, it just really isn't. Previously known as the Bicycle Challenge, the organizers rebranded the ride this year in hopes to bring in more riders and donations. We really wanted to attract people. We didn't want to put people off. It really isn't that hard of a ride. The ride is less than 20 miles with rest stops every couple of miles at local bars and organizations sponsoring the ride. I'm trying to get my daughter to go on that one. If she can convince her daughter, like Cecilia will also be there cheering her are on along with the hundreds of other bicyclists who are on a road that helps Cecilia stay on hers. The money raised from the cruise goes to the Kansas City Free Health Clinic, the Hope Care Center, Save Inc., and the Good Samaritan Project. The ride is Sunday, September 16th, and you can register the day of. Mitch Weber, 41 Action News.